Welcome, everyone, to Logan, Utah, and the Beehive State. We're here at Maverick Stadium, home to the Utah State Aggies, and eager for this clash. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we'll see a team from the Pac-12, the Washington State Cougars, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Utah State Aggies. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Utah State lined up, ready to deliver the opening kickoff. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Washington State's offense will get the first swing of the game. And here's the man they'll try to feed the football to no matter what the coverage looks like, Jesse. He's their best player on offense, and I like the way this coaching staff moves him around and tries to create good matchups to take advantage of, David. And that makes it so hard to defend. When a receiver lines up in the same spot every time, I can bring extra coverage. Man, use this guy all over the field as a weapon of mass destruction. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Back to throw, it's Matier. They're trying to get to him. And he is snowed under, sacked at the seven. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. And not the optimum setup to try to salvage the opening drive with a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Washington State sends out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. The Aggies offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Utah State, up-tempo. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And the Aggies get it past the sticks. Well, it's not a home run, but it's just enough by the running back to move the chains. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. Well, when you're running the curl route against zone coverage as a QB, you know you've got to get the receiver the ball quickly. This quarterback has a cannon for an arm. He showed you on that last throw, and the offense picks up the first down. The Aggies will snap it on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. He saw it on that play. On first and goal, let's see what Utah State calls. They'll run play action. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. 
it's just a tremendous effort on defense, understanding the situation, right? Offense has the ball in a goal-to-go situation. Someone's got to win and go get the quarterback, and the defense came up big. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. What will the offense dial up on third and goal? Pushes toward the goal line. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Utah State. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Ready to try the point after. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. That drive covered 55 yards for the score, and it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Washington State going quickly. To the air, it's Mateer. Quick strike complete. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. Well, the short passing game is a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later on. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught near the sticks. It's Williams. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And, of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down the best one <laughs> I mean I think the open one obviously the politically correct answer but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with you know exactly where he's going to be you got that bond and that trust the quarter comes to a close Utah State has the lead and we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Throws to the wideout. Got his man. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. On the move, it's Parker. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Back to pass. It's Mateer. Got his man quickly. 
They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and then all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive gain. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Washington State lines up quickly. Going up top on first down. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's Parker. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Look, as an offense, you're always going to take completions over incompletions and interceptions. So the offense, they're able to make that third down a little bit more manageable. But honestly, not by much. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. The short hands, it's Hudson. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Man, and that's just making it way too easy on the defense. They're laughing at that short throw. They're like, really? Okay, we'll just make an easy tackle and jog our punt return team out on the field. You're gonna make it that easy for us. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. This try will come from the left hash and he'll try to curl it in from 38. It's good. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Gets it out quickly. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He's going to pass. Going to take a shot. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. And you just could not allow that to happen defensively, giving up a big play like that. They're going to need to now play with some sense of urgency if they're not going to give up any points here before the end of the half. Utah State comes to the line with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Going for it all. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. 
Man, a really nice job understanding I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him, and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone, touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. He'll start this drive firing. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. Making a play like that to open the drive can really get the momentum going. First down from the 43. Looking left. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking downfield, it's Mateer. Fires left. Complete downfield. Knocked down immediately, but a big gain down to the 45. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the wideout. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time it's second down. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. After the misconnection, it's second down. They keep attacking through the air. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Makes a connection. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. They'll throw it on first down. Fires on the move. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Second and ten after the previous play. Looking to throw, it's Mateer. Throws to the tight end. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. 
There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. He caught it! And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Looking to throw for it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. On to attempt the try. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And it was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here's the return from inside is 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And with time running out here in the first half, the offense will take a knee, content to be on top as we head to the break. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Logan so far. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to our broadcast team at Maverick Stadium. Washington State has it teed up, and we're ready to go here in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. Off play action on first down. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on 2nd and 15. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. This is a third and long.
looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. They'll run the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. The number one goal as a defense is try to hit the QB as many times as possible. Try to rattle him. Try to get him flustered a little bit. Nice job getting there, getting the hit on him, but nice job of executing by the quarterback. Taking the hit, delivering the strike. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part. Score your defense does your part, Jesse. This offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. Dropping back, it's Mateer. He's got it down the middle. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. When you're a defense, you have a choice. Do you play man or do you play zone? They sat back in zone. That might change. They might change their mind and try to switch to man here shortly in the future. Washington State going quickly. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Oh, and he's able to get it back and saves himself a rear end chewing. Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. Problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a turnover. The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. On second down, wants to throw it. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. And there's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open, throw it out of bounds. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking down the middle. Got him downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Looking to pass inside the red zone. He caught it. And he's down after the short completion. He did not make it to the first down marker. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Looking to pass. It's Mateer. He's got it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route running. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Off the play fake on first down. And he can't pull the trigger, and that will be the final play of the third quarter. We wrap it up with a sack. The quarter comes to a close. Utah State has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On second down, they'll take to the air. It's complete! Touchdown, Washington State! 
And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with a QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. This one's big to make sure they can't beat you with a field goal. And it's good, and he's got the lead up to three late. They took it 68 yards on that drive, and they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Utah State up tempo. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Out across the 20 to the 21 yard line, a three yard gain. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. He's looking to throw. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller and certainly if you're the quarterback that you're going to have time to throw. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. The handoff keep working on that clock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. Dropping back, it's Mateer. Using the quick game. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. They'll try to get it through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Parker. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. And the Cougars have it with a first and 10. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. He'll pull it on the read. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. 
Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Now on second down, and we'll probably see another run, and that might do it if they can get a first down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They've got it inside the 30 at the 28, first down. He'll do it himself. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. Hand off from the shotgun. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short gain. And that's exactly what you would expect from this offense. Listen, when you're in that one to two minute range and you got the football and you got a lead, it's smash mouth. It's keep that clock running. It's ground game. So interesting now on this third down what they do next, but we got to keep that clock moving. Looking for a man. It's Mateer. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him, knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. And with that incompletion, it now sets up a very interesting decision for the head coach, right? You've got a narrow lead. You kick the field goal now, you force the opponent to have to at least score a touchdown to retake the lead, but you can also seize a lot of momentum. If you get it here on fourth and short, if you're able to score a touchdown, this is a completely different game. It's good, he hit that one right down the middle. With that field goal, now it takes a touchdown to beat them. So you want to pin them back and then let the defense have a little room to work with. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Well, no big surprise here in the fourth quarter. The defense expecting pass, and that's why they've got extra DBs on the field. It's almost like a prevent look. Everybody back there staring at the QB. Going to be hard to throw into that. Obviously, the ball falls incomplete. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And, oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Got to give this defense tons of credit. How good have they been on the back end in coverage? It just feels like every time this QB has thrown the ball, it's been contested. They haven't given up a lot of yards, and they need to continue to be great in coverage with the lead in this two-minute situation. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. And the offense just chooses to spike the ball. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. On second down, he'll fire. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. And that's why this guy's a complete running back. He's good between the tackles. He can pass block, but he can also run routes. And we're not just talking about screens or swing routes. This guy gets vertical down the field, and he can run the route tree. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. Line getting set on second down. 
He's looking to throw. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Man, these are those situations as a defense, you know exactly what's coming. I'm going to play deep. The ball goes up in the air. If it's even a close to a jump ball situation, I'm not trying to catch it. I'm batting the ball down, swatting it down, getting it to the ground so I don't get one of those miraculous tips and catches for a touchdown. Throws toward the end zone. Fires it into a crowd, and it's picked off. 